Uh, what's up? I'm gonna be doing a tier list. I haven't made one of these in a while. Animals I could beat in a fight, right? I consider myself to be a pretty tough guy. Um, I do have very small arms for my wide body, but don't let that, you know, make you think I'm not able to, you know, tussle, okay? So we're just going to go through this list. Most of these I'd paint their, you know, paint the walls with their blood, but, you know, I got to go through them. Uh, first in the list is going to be a fucking lobster, okay? So, honestly, with lobsters, um, they have the pincers, right? So pincers are very scary. I think if humans had pincers, um, it'd be game over for any other living creature on Earth. Um, that being said, it's a lobster, right? So it's about as big as my Nintendo Switch holder, okay? And I don't even own a Nintendo Switch. That's an alpha move, okay? So I would say, honestly, with a lobster, it'd get a few hits in. They would. I mean, I mean, this this lobster might use his or her pincers or their pencil pincers to 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 snap me in the nose a few times, like in those comedy movies. So for that, I'm gonna put this lobster, and they'd get a few hits in. But ultimately, I would win. I would just stomp that little fucker. All right, next is a zebra. I'm gonna tell you a little anecdote. I recently went to the zoo. Okay, I saw those things in live action. They made zebras a real thing from The Lion King. Okay. I don't think that I would do well against a zebra. They're like horses, but like from Africa. So they're fucking, you know, they're fighting for their lives every day of the week. All right. I'm just a guy. But as we stated a minute and 50 seconds ago, I'm a very, very tough man. All right. I'm a man. Please. So zebra, honestly, it'd be a close one. It would because they can just. You know, this, these are the, the front paws, they're their hooves, right? They'll just be fucking stomping on my ass, but I'll I'll get up, I'll fucking get them in a, in a headlock. I just start fucking wailing on the zebra, right? And I think after all the dust settles, you'll see, like in Tarzan, you'll see me standing on top of the zebra fucking going to step over him, like fucking AI over T. Lou, or Ty Lou, whatever the fuck his name is. Good coach. It'd be a close one. This is a lemming. Honestly, I'd be too scared to even fight it because those things are suicidal, right? They'll pull shit out that I wouldn't even think about because they have nothing to lose. It's in their blood to kill themselves. I don't want any part of that. Next is what, a deer? The deer have those antlers, right? But only the bucks do, okay? Does, does, doe, they don't have antlers. So here's a little predicament of mine, right? I think if it was a doe, I'd get a few hits in, right? I would, I'd probably honestly try to go for the, for the front leg and just snap it, just snap it in half, right? The, the doe would just be wailing around on the floor thinking, what the hell's going on? I have three legs now. If it was a buck. They have the antlers, but I do have thunder and lightning on my arms. Let's say it's a buck. I think it's a 50-50 chance that I win or lose. Do I get to bring a gun? Do I get to bring a bow? Um... Yeah, for that, I think I might lose, but I might win, which is where the 50-50 comes in. Next is a little lizard, okay? It looks to be a little iguana. I don't know my lizards. I'm not a lizard man. Um, I just fucking tear his tail off and fucking whip him. I'd paint the walls with their blood. All right, next is an octopus or a squid, a giant squid, whatever it is. Those things are scary. I can't step foot in the ocean. I don't like water that I can't see. For that, I'd be too scared to fight. A bear, don't even get me started on those little pussies, okay? All you gotta do what? It's, it's, what's the whole saying? If it's brown, lie down. Black, fight back. If it's white, you're screwed, okay? This looks to be an American brown bear. Once again, I just went to the zoo. You know what that bear was doing at the zoo? He was lounging. He was, he was snoozing, okay? I would just sneak up a, a, against that bear, get a little bowie knife, right? Remember the Alamo? Just stab him in the fucking throat until he dies okay <laughs> so for that they'd get a few hits in okay because think about it right the bear's gonna wake up fucking being stabbed in the juggler turn around maybe whip me with his head i don't know what bears do i don't speak bear they get a few hits in, but ultimately i'd win because i got a knife next is what is this a, a hippo okay yeah for hippos 
Um, they're big. I did go to the zoo. I don't know if I mentioned that. I did get to go to the zoo. Um, what do they really do? You know, like, yes, they're very fast. I'm faster. Yes, they're very fat. I'm fatter. Yes, they're very dumb. And I'm smart. But the point is, if it comes down to me and a hippo, right, in, in, in the Roman Colosseum, I think what I would do is I would juke. I would, I would pull out little, little Juju Smith-Schuster moves, right? Juke on him, right? Maybe do a TikTok dance while I'm at it. And I would eventually tire this hippo out and then get my knife and stab him in the throat. So for that, it would be a close one, but I'd win. Next is a sea turtle. Easy. Fucking grab him by the neck, put him on land. He's gone. Okay, tiger. This may be a controversial choice because I know tigers are endangered. Um, but this is a battle to the death, and if it's the last tiger alive and it's against me, sorry, dude, you picked the wrong, <laughs> picked the wrong fight. Okay. That being said, it is a tiger. Now I have a cat. Okay, my cat's name is Pablo. He's a I would call him a mini tiger because he does not care who he fights. He is the king of this house, and for that, sometimes I kick him in the nuts. Granted, he doesn't have any nuts, so I kick him where his nuts should be. Okay. That being said. It's a tiger again, right? They have claws. They have giant fucking teeth, dude. I think, honestly, I'd put up a good fight. I would. But at the end of the day, they would, he would just take his claws, little Bagheera, right? Or no, Shere Khan. Whatever, whoever was Shere Khan would take his, his claws, gut me. My innards are spilling out. I'm thinking, oh, God. But I got a few hits in. So that being said, it'd be a close one, but I'd lose. Now, this is a wolf. They hunt in packs, but I only see a lone wolf here. One lone wolf, not good. I know in action movies, right, the lone wolf is the one that's like, oh, this is a lone wolf. He does what he wants. What this lone wolf is going to want to do when he sees me is turn the other way and book it, okay? Because I, I'm scary. I'm a real scary dude, okay? I'm a big dude. All I got to do is, and he'll be gone, okay? Lone wolf, um metaphorically paint the walls with their blood. I feel like he wouldn't even try to fight me. But you get the picture, okay? Next is a parrot. Easy. Get some scissors, clip his wings. He's gone. Paint the walls. This is a Komodo dragon. If I'm not mistaken, their tongues are like super venomous, right? So all I gotta do, right, is put a fucking muzzle on that bitch. Paint the walls. Lion. Once again, lion, lions and tigers, right? It's the exact same thing. Uh, I would lose. Bald eagle. They represent America. I don't want to get political on you, but why are we spending so much money on the military when it could be going towards infrastructure um, and maybe some, you know, uh, what's what's the word? Um, affordable housing, maybe? Homelessness crisis in America, anybody? Please. Um, that being said, that would fuel my my rage. Now, granted, you know, I I'm okay with America, right? I mean, I understand that we have injustice in the world, especially in America, um, with people of color like myself. I was lucky enough to never have had to really face that as some people have in the world, especially in America. Um, so I think in the duel between me and the bald eagle, I'd be fighting for oppressed Americans, okay? Um, so it'd be kind of personal, right? Because I'm thinking to myself, there's a there's a whole thing going on in my head. I'm thinking, well, shit, this is, you know, the the symbol of freedom, and, 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 and American values, but then I think, do all Americans share these American values? Do all these Americans have this freedom, or is it just, you know, just throwing this out there, um, the rich, uh, spe specifically the rich white people who get to have the American dream and, and, and these freedoms and values, because maybe, I don't know, the American systems and general justice system, um, were uh, made to discriminate against people of color at a disproportionate rate. As a matter of fact, why don't we pull this up real quick, okay? So we got, um, I can't say colored people, that's an outdated term. Um, people of color in jail, okay? Sentencingproject.org, all right? This is, the, this is what it says. The color of justice, racial and ethnic disparity in state prisons, okay? Black Americans are incarcerated in state prisons across the country at nearly five times the rate of whites and Latino people. 
are 1.3 times as likely to be incarcerated as uh, non-Latino whites, all right? This report documents the rates of incarceration for white, black, and Latino Americans in each state, identifies three contributors to racial, racial and, and ethnic disparities in, in imprisonment, and provides recommendations for reform. So basically what this is saying is, hey, black people especially, but also, you know, um, just brown-skinned people, darker-skinned people are being incarcerated at a much higher rate than any light-skinned person, specifically white people, right? That, that's just how it goes. Um, why is it that most of the non-violent drug offenses, uh, offenders that are in prison, are black? But yet, we got Kamala Harris in, you know, our vice president saying, oh yeah, I smoked weed, while simultaneously having put away so many people for that exact same thing. Um, I don't know. I, but I'm getting off topic. Okay, basically, and also we have a huge mass incarceration problem. Why are we incarcerating people for nonviolent offenses when we should be um, trying to reform them? Uh, you know, rehab maybe, but we don't care about that. We fucking chew them up, throw away the key, and lock them up no more, right? Because that's the American way. That being said, I would probably lose. Okay, rhinoceroses, okay? These are scary things, right? When I think of a rhino, I think of a, a Republican in name only. I'm looking at you, Mitt Romney. That's a joke, okay? Um, they're big. I, I think they're kind of like hippos. Um, same thing. I would just tire them out. Um, they do have that one tusk. So what What would I bring? I would bring a little jigsaw, right? Um, get his ass in a, in a headlock, open up the, the jigsaw, put the blade in carefully using gloves and safety goggles, and start gnawing at that fucking, um, at that, uh, horn, all right, and eventually he'd be like, oh shit, where the fuck is my horn, at that point, poke him in the eyes, get my knife, stab him in the throat, close one, but I'd win, this is a bird, pandas, now, go back to the bears, right, I said, hey, oh, well, but the other these are pandas, never mind, they eat bamboo, do I need to say more, they're fucking, they're, they eat bamboo, and, and, and they, and they sleep, Catch him while he's sleeping. Put his ass in a headlock. Stab him in the throat. Easy. Paint the fucking walls with his blood. Oh, it's a little ferret. It's a little ferret. Okay, these things are fucking lanky as hell. Spin his ass like a fucking cowgirl. Throw his ass against the wall. Splat. Gorillas. I ain't fuck with gorillas. I'd be too scared to fight them. Same with chimpanzees, okay? Next we got, what the fuck is this thing? Looks like some type of like deer from the from the from the savanna, maybe. Um I don't know. I mean, I'd kill it. Right? I mean, what did I say? I mean, but this doesn't look like it. I, I can't see any antlers here. I'm gonna assume if they gave me a buck, they're giving me a doe. The only thing that would come into concern for me is it's kinda like when how Batman's only weakness is how uh when he's reminded of the death of his parents, I'd be thinking, shit, I'm killing a doe. I mean, you know, you don't really want to kill a doe. You know, they 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 carry the the calf, right? So I don't. It'd be a a a, a severe moral dilemma for me more than anything. Um, physically, could I take it? Of course. Snap one one leg, get it freaking out, stab it in the throat. But morally, do I want to? I don't know. know. So for that, I'd be too scared emotionally. Like, I, I, I just don't know. I wouldn't know what to do. But I wouldn't fight it. <sighs> Great white sharks. What did I say about the other fish? Oh, sea turtle. Yeah. Fuck sea turtles. Um, I'm terrified of the ocean, as I stated before. So for that fact... And plus, on top of that, I get fucking torn to shreds. Um, elephants, dude, I fucking love elephants. That being said, if it comes to it, I put a bullet in between their eyes. Easy as that, right? Sell the tusks, make a few money. Um, yeah. Snakes, I love snakes. That's a complete lie. I don't know why I said that. Um, that being said, same with the ferret, right? Stretch that bitch out, swing it around, toss it, bam. Concussion at the fucking least, okay? When it's all dazed and confused, get some steel toe boots on, stomp that motherfucker like it's a fucking, like like how you swing a baseball bat, you pivot, I'm be pivoting all over the floor with that motherfucker's head, okay? 
paint the wall. I'm so fucking strong. Starfish. Paint the wall. I mean, do I even have to explain it? It's a goddamn starfish. Is it a crocodile or, or, or alligator? I think it's an alligator. Um, those things scare me. I killed a kid. They killed a kid in Florida, in Disneyland? No, World. In Disney World. I'd get fucking torn to shreds. Like, they're low to the ground. I'm six foot, right? They'll, they're, they're, they'll get me at my knees, bring me down to their level, get me in a fucking, one of those, like, where they twist my arm, and I'll be like, oh, shit, my fucking arm's gone. And then I'll be like, oh, shit, my other arm's gonna be about to be gone now. And then that's when they go for the kill. I'd get torn to shreds. Horses, don't even get me started. Dude, there's something. I go to the rodeo almost every year. I don't support it, all right? Like, during some of the more cruel races, I, I, I step out and I go get Whataburger. Um, overpriced Whataburger at that. Um, there's something that horses aren't telling us. I don't know what it is, but there's there's more to them than meets the eye. And for that, I'd be too scared to fight it. Cheetahs, they're too fast for me, okay? I feel like the cheetah would just be like, um, see, if you've seen The Eternals, right? Not a great movie. Excuse me, not a great movie. But that little, little, you know, sp- you know speeding girl in that movie, uh, she does that this this one thing to to the to the the, the a bad guy, and she like for goes bam, bam, bam. She's spinning around. She's fucking going to Mach ten or whatever. Fucking bam, bam, bam. I feel like a cheetah would do the same thing to me. Um, I don't consider myself to be fast, you know. Um, so I think. I'd probably do a really fucking cool ass thing where I catch the fucking cheetah midair, choke it, fucking choke slam it, but it shakes it off and it keeps running. So I'd get a few hits in, but I would lose. Goldfish, I'd swallow that motherfucker. Cat, oh, shit. Okay, so as I stated, I I have a cat. I love my cat, Paulo. Love you, dude. But if I ever wanted to, I could easily. Punt that man 50 yards. I don't think I ever would. I could. Right? Okay, this is an octopus. Um, What did I say for the squid? Oh, yes. I'm too scared. And plus, they're, like, super smart. Why would I want to kill, like, a really, really smart animal? Um, yeah. Crab. Dude, I can't walk at the... I can't walk on the beach at nighttime because crabs scare the hell out of me. I don't want to want to get, get you know, pinched by a crab. But it's the same thing with the lobsters, right? The lobster has the pincers, right? So I, I feel like if, if I'm in a 1v1 battle for the death, um, he'd get a few hits in, sure. Lobster would get, or the the crab would be like, bam, 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 bam. Oh my god, my face, my pretty face. But then I would just game over. They get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. Next is a golden retriever puppy. I've seen Airbud. I know what those things can can do. Um, but we're not in Airbudiverse, right? We're not in the Airbud universe. We're in America. Okay, and what does America come with? Guns. Lots of guns. But I don't even need a gun. It's a little puppy. Now, again, with with the, uh, the what did I say? The, um, the, the, the dough, like the, the, the moral, you know, dilemma I would have killing a fucking puppy, especially having worked at the Animal Defense League. But if it's me or him, dude, I can't be thinking like that. I got to be thinking, I got to go home and see my cat. Okay, I have, I have, you know, my cat's depending on me to bring home food. I can't be, you know, worrying, you know, what if I kill this puppy? Am I going to be scarred for life? Yeah, um, most definitely. But at the end of the day, I got to get what's mine's. Feel me? Like, I gotta really get what is mine, and nothing can stop that. The puppy wouldn't even bite me. It looks like a pussy. Alright, what is this, a peacock? Um, not, probably the worst streaming service out of the main streaming services. Um, they do have The Office. 
Um, what else? Yeah, they, I think they have Parks and Rec also. Um, but other than that, you know, again, like I don't, I know that I that this might be funny, right? Oh, he can't actually paint the walls. Think about it. Really fucking think about it. I could. Fucking bird. This is a sheep. Give me a fight. It's a sheep. Fucking scare it, dude. Put a fucking blindfold over its head. All right? Get it in the headlock. Stab him in the throat, dude. Easy as shit. I'd fucking do like they do in the fucking... In the Bible, I paint the fucking door with that sheep's blood. Okay, this is a swan. I thought it was a goose. It's a swan. Okay, swans... They sing really well. Ha. <laughs> so... You know... With swans, they don't do much of anything. They float. They have pretty, you know, flapping apparati, apparatuses. Um, other than that, what's it going to do? It can run away, but assuming we're in like an enclosed like coliseum, it won't get far. It'll eventually tire itself out. I'd snap its neck. Oh. Right, this is an owl. Owls are super smart. I would hate to kill it, but once again, I gotta get home to my family. Okay. Um, well, let me look at these. I think, you know, this owl is smart enough to get a few hits in, right? Maybe attack me from from above. But what this owl doesn't realize is I have a fishing net, right? Just catch it, right? Twist it so that so it can't get out of the of the net, right? Maybe get a mallet, right? Get some variety up in here. Better yet, get a sledgehammer, right? Bam, bam, bam. You hear the squeaks, feathers going everywhere, but at the end of the day, owl's gone. Okay. This is a blue whale. This is the largest mammal on earth. Um, doesn't stand a chance. I'll tell you why. I'll get a bulldozer, okay? Better yet, I'll get two bulldozers, okay? I'd find this motherfucker, right? Now, let's just assume that the Coliseum flooded, okay? Like how they did back in the olden days. They'd flood the Coliseum to have naval fights. It's pretty cool stuff. You should look it up. I'd drag this motherfucker into the Coliseum. I wait. To, I mean, I, what? How long is it? How long can they hold their breath? A minute? Two minutes? Fifteen? Let's see. How long can a blue... Whale hold his breath. 90 minutes? Okay. That's an easy Morbius. I haven't seen it yet. Might as well get it in while I'm fucking waiting. That's easy. Can't do shit on land. It's a fucking whale. Seals, um, don't they, like, do weird shit to their own kind? Like, they do, like, really crush questionable shit, like, sexually? Um, that said, I'm on the next fucking flight to Antarctica with a club in my hand. Ducks, please, you're going to make me laugh. Ducks, I eat ducks. I've never actually had duck, but I would. Would. The ducks are fucking slimy fucks, dude. Like, I feel like they would... I'm, I'm genuinely thinking about it. Like, would this duck, this, 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 this mallard, put up a fight against me? Answer is no. Cows. Dude, do you know how much meat I consumed? Have you looked at me? Do you know? I mean, I don't even know why this is on here. I mean, I, I literally paint the walls with their blood. The walls being my intestines. The blood being the fucking meat from the burgers and steaks. Okay, dolphins. This comes back to the ethical, moral dilemma that I that I face. I don't know if I could do it. If blue whales can hold their breath for 90 minutes, let's just assume dolphins can hold their breath for 90 minutes, right? If I had to, I would use the exact same tactic on a blue on a dolphin as I had a blue whale. But if I didn't have to, I'd probably let, you know, I'd, you know, free willy or the fucking Dolphin from 
that one movie with that one actor and kid and he's like oh i work at sea world and this dolphin needs to be free because look at his fin I forgot what it's called but you know what i'm talking about um yeah no i would definitely paint the wolf last but not least a mountain goat i guess you could say with the way they eat i'd get torn to shreds <laughs> no but seriously um i feel like they get a few hits in, right? I mean, they have those tiny, tiny antlers that would make you think that they're not a threat, but they fucking hit hard. So they they probably puncture a few things, maybe puncture a lung, maybe cause me to get appendicitis. But at the end of the day, I'd win because at the end of the day, I'm six feet tall and this goat is like three feet tall. I just his ass in the headlock, stab him in the throat, game over. But yeah, that's really it for my. Tier list, um, this is a dumb one. Like, I don't, where was, like, the challenge supposed to be in any of these? It's easy stuff. 